Hi guys. So after um, getting back from our first little shakedown trip and being in the extreme cold for um, the first time, we have both agreed it is time to install our diesel heater. Okay guys, here it is. We've kind of opened it, but haven't opened it. That's the main unit there. I know I've watched enough of these videos that <clears throat> this is for the air in and the air out. Oh, maybe that's just for the air out because that's the air coming in there. That's the inlet. Uh, and this would be the outlet. We can split it. So you could cut this however you want or put those wherever you want. And to spread it around so these will fit into there. This is the air filter for the air coming in, which is going to fit onto this. This is exhaust out. There's the fuel pump. The muffler. That's the control pad. And here's the fuel line, which I know that's the fuel in. This line goes into here. But anyhow, then you put a clamp on to make that connection and then connect that to there, I think. A remote control switch and the wires. So let's figure out where we want to put this baby. So guys, what we're thinking is um, maybe somehow putting it in the sofa, right? We've got two sides that we can play around with and then having it come out um, in front of the sofa. Also, we want to think about where the fuel tank's going to be. Outside and, the bus, huh? And where the exhaust pipe's going to go out. And where the fresh air is going to come in. Thinking if we put it at the head of this storage up here, which is kind of challenging to get into, um, that might be a good spot inside the bus. So let's go see where it would come out outside the bus because it's it be easy to locate because it's directly below these windows. Okay, so there's the windows on the inside and we're thinking about coming, it would be almost straight down here. Yeah. Behind the tire. Randy's going to fall over the bus and see what it looks like under there. What's up YouTube? <laughs> Okay, well there's the wheel, the end of the wheel well. So, over here is where that, unlike where the window is, right? Where am I at? You're at the back of the window now. Okay. It's about straight down from where it would be. That's all wide open up there. So those pipes could come down anywhere up there. And then we have this fuel tank, which a lot of people have tapped into their fuel tank of the vehicle. I'm not too excited about messing with that. I would rather mount this either like that or down there at that end. Okay, so there it gives you an idea that we could mount that tank right to that, to the wall of the underbay. What's above the bus right there where my foot is? Ah, uh, rivets. Okay, YouTube, here's the reality. Shelly is Excited to have a diesel heater, but she's already been nesting all over the bus. <laughs> and that's just a problem because she doesn't want to move this stuff and put the diesel heater in there. But this is the most logical place to put it. I, I agree. I agree. Okay, guys, one of my favorite things to do when I'm trying to figure out how something fits is to use this big long bit. So with that big 12 inch long bit, I calculated out where I thought I needed to be was right here. So I carefully drilled that through there. And then I went under the bus and saw where it was. And it actually needed to be three inches in and two inches back. So now I really haven't ruined anything by just putting that three sixteenths inch hole through there. So my plate's going to end up going back here like that okay guys I got this all marked out and laid out 
The only negative I got going here is right there is going to be inch and a half thick plywood that I'm going to have to drill all the way through to the floor. But if I drill two, three inch holes with the hole saw, it'll just uh, clear all that stuff out of the way. And when it comes to heating devices, uh, stuff that gets hot, I like to have plenty of clearance. So I could go two and three quarters or two and a half and clear all that stuff, but I'm way more comfortable with a little bit more clearance, especially since the plate's gonna cover it all up anyhow. Wow, guys, with this sharp hole saw, that, that went through the first part like butter. So just cutting the rest of these ribs all the way down to the floor. Now this one will go really easy because all I got to do is get through the floor and then it's just foam. Yeah, that's just foam under there now. It's clear this bit out and go through that super easy. Getting that chunk there out is a great job for one of these oscillating saws. Shaky tool. Now I got that out of the way, I can go the rest of the way down. There's all the way to the metal flooring there. What I'm doing is I just set it in here. That That's where it actually goes. But I just slid it up to the wall so I could mark where the inlet for the air that comes into this needs to be. So I still got to Cut the metal out of the floor down there, which is underneath all this sawdust. But I'm not going to do that until I drill all my other holes with this nice new hole saw so that they're nice clean cuts before I use it to cut that metal out down there, which will kind of dull it up a bit. So. I'm going to hit that screw. Okay, i got to take that screw out and then I'll be able to put that hole through. Okay guys, this is me today figuring out everything I did wrong yesterday, what went wrong, what went right. Here's a tip for you, if you're putting in the diesel heater and you go to drill the holes, a three inch hole saw, this pipe will fit in it. But when I went through the cabinet here, this black hose wouldn't pass through it. So this wouldn't fit through that as a three inch hole. So then I went back and I was thinking the hose needed to go all the way on here, but I was wrong about that because this sticks through far enough you can still get your hose on here in a hose clamp. So if you drill a three inch hole for this, this is a good fit and you got room to put your screws. If you make your hole bigger like I did, then you got no place to put your screws to anchor this cap in there. Anyhow, it didn't quite all go great yesterday. <laughs> well, I thought it through with the hose that I had and my line of thinking was to get the two outlets as far away from each other as I could, to spread them as far as I could. But so I had it coming out up here, going through there, coming out up here, coming out here. And now this morning I take the same amount of pipe and I can put it like this and it'll go on and it'll come out here and it'll come out here and then the second mistake well and everything is all in one box we're not invading the other the other storage box right because you're really not supposed to put stuff on top of these hot pipes so we're losing storage area but we're going to gain the heat right but anyways also don't make this mistake i i put it down close to the floor and then shelly said hey i can't sweep and stuff in front of that so my line of thinking was down to the floor because heat rises, but these nozzles swivel so you can direct it where you want. So now I'm going to go back and put one down here and one up here. They're all in the same compartment and it's going to work awesome. So the other thing that, um, he forgot to mention too, by going so low to the floor, he didn't allow room for the floor to go in. So yeah. that's the other thing. If you haven't put your floor in, consider that. Yeah, well, the awesome thing is the front of this gets covered anyhow, so <laughs> I can cover up 
my our little vent holes, huh? Yeah. Probably the most uh, confusing one for me was this fuel line. Yeah, this little tiny fuel line, and then this stuff, and everywhere that you got to connect on the fuel pump um, to the fuel filter. What you got to do is cut a little piece of this and stick it on there and stick the hose in it and then put a hose clamp which is why they gave you all these little hose clamps. So that's where we're at. We'll see how far we get today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. This is my new commitment here. I'm up off of the floor so your heels won't knock off the things. Shelly can clean the floor. I could clean it too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Oh, I think that'll be much better. What's he, up, YouTube? He's done We're it again. We're down. We're down. We're down. We're under the bus, and we are under the bus this time, not in the underbase storage. So we're trying to get um. The, the tank, right? For... No, I'm going to put the muffler out the side. Oh, the muffler out the side. Okay. I'm not sure what we got. We've got multiple things going on under here. Up there. That's where the thing is sitting up underneath the couch. This is the fresh air inlet, which I pinned up behind here so no dirt and stuff can get at it. And then it said to keep the exhaust pipe at a downward angle and it needed to go outside, so... I'm gonna poke a hole right here and just put that out the side. I got my downward angle. Oh, and it said to make sure it was pointing, not toward the wind. Back. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it like that right there. And then I can strap this muffler right to that rib. To the rib, perfect. Yep. Oh, but we have to drill a hole in this mirror again, huh? Yeah, she'll forgive us. She'll forgive us, I hope so. If it works, yeah, that's going to work. Beautiful. Okay, guys, um, let's go check in with Randy and see what he's been doing. Hey, Randy. Oh, Uh-oh. There's a that's, hole in our bus. That's a good hole. It's a good hole. It's, so, a, beauty, because, it's a beautiful hole. <laughs> but I hate the smell of diesel, so <laughs> it's odd to be driving a diesel bus and it have a diesel heater but I really don't like to get diesel dripped in the under bay or you know and have that smell inside so I opted to put the fuel tank right there and there's my exhaust I got it coming out the side but so now I'll just put a, another door on here like all the other doors when we want to fill up the, and I, I put it down like this so we could see when we were getting to the top Oh, that's and also, very smart. when the door is open, you can just look down the tank and see how much fuel is in there. Yeah. Without having to crawl under the bus. Cool. So, and I had to make a bracket to mount this guy, so I'll show you under here. Well, here we are on the inside, so here's where that the fuel tank is mounted inside of that door. So there's where the fuel... <laughs> Hi, Shelly. So now I got to put the little spout on here for the fuel to come out there. So it's going to go from the tank through the fuel filter. And it's going to come right to there to the fuel pump. From the fuel pump, it'll circle up and come back and go up to the diesel heater. So there's my fresh air line now. It's over here. So there's the hot line that comes down and there we go now you can see it. So I just made a bracket there for the uh, muffler to mount on. So that's rock solid. Hose clamp the exhaust pipe to the muffler. And there's my fuel pump with the 15 or 20 degree angle on it like it says. So I'm getting close. 